Let's go ahead and take a look at resources in Aurora for Architects. So go ahead and create a new work surface. And we're ready to go again. Make sure we're on the resources tab here. We have brushes and library. Go ahead and click on brushes. We can actually drag out onto the canvas and show you. We can change the background. We can go to linear here. Same thing. Set that as a background. And pages there. There's some other ones inside of the linear there. We can do a masks. So we can actually left click and drag that out. Set that up. And we have radial. Can actually bring one of these out. Left click and drag. Do it as a background. And that's brushes expander list. Let's go to the library. Here we have XAML clip art, XAML controls, and XAML icons. Let's go through these briefly. So let's go ahead and do the clip art. Choose buildings. Give it a second to populate. And let's go ahead and drag out the factory. One of these here. You can actually drag that out as a child of the canvas. Interestingly enough, you could actually put that as a tooltip if you'd like. So every time you hovered over that canvas, it would show this image here. So what's nice about the XAML clip art is you can actually drill down and start messing with certain pieces of this and moving it around. So you don't have to use exactly what you see there. You can actually go on the properties panel and change the color to, to style out your own products with that look and feel that you want via this clip art. Let's go back to resources and come back out of buildings. You can see some of the other ones that we have here. Quite a bit here. Gestures, medical, networking for our computers and quite a bit of other ones. Let's go ahead and close up the clip art and let me go ahead and come back on the view box here and get rid of our image there. Go to the controls. We have some standard controls here. You can left click and drag out. Again, a child is the window and that's actually back there. So let's see. Bring that this up a little bit here and let's double click on the canvas. Let's try the help button. That's child of the canvas. There we go. It's just hard to see inside there. But smaller. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. And there we go, our help button. We have items controls. So we can do a combo box, drag that out as well. Actually you can see we can do that as a button itself. So it can really get dynamic. It just goes shows the depth of which you can go with .NET 3.5 and actually inside of here is the button. So if we do a test run, we can actually do a drop down here. Not saying you would, but gives you great flexibility with the platform. So we have buttons, item controls, and going to icons finally. We have some 3D controls here. Let's go ahead and double click back on the canvas and drag out a torus. And we can see there it is. And we have some miscellaneous shapes. And uh, all of these can help, of course, to speed up uh, creating your applications. And uh, specifically the user interface with Aurora for Architects. Quite a bit of menu icons here. Give it a second to populate. So you can see we have a copy icon, for example. There we go. So we could add that right in. And that's working with resources and Aurora for Architects.